verse 14 goes on, who has made us both one. It's a tricky thing, and I understand because guess what, guys? This church ain't perfect, and you're not gonna find a perfect church. And you aren't gonna find a perfect group of Christians to hang out with. But the Bible from cover to cover never ever says that Christianity is to be done in isolation by yourself in the woods with you and God. You wanna know why? It's very clear here. Jesus is our peace, but he has made us both one. Jesus has come to make family, not individual Christians, but family, brothers and sisters in Christ. And he says, I'll do the heavy lifting. I will put my spirit in you so that that EGR person, which Rick Warren adopted, which stands for extra grace required person in your life, you'll be able to deal with them. You know what the funny thing is? Most of the time that I'm praying for an EGR person, they have identified me as an EGR person and they are probably praying that they will have grace to deal with me who requires extra grace. Guys, the moment that you forget that you too can be difficult is the moment that you forget that once I was separated from Jesus, had no community, had no promises, no hope, and was without God, and God brought me near. And if God can bring me near, then I can have grace with people who I sometimes disagree with or are difficult toward. This, this cancel culture that we live in and all of the social media feeds of stay away from toxic people, Yes, it's true, you don't wanna be in abusive relationships, but guess what? If I'm supposed to stay away from toxic people, I need to stay away from me. And I don't quite know how to do that. So we just need to get in our head this idea of, wait, maybe you may have deemed this relationship toxic because maybe you are asking this person in this relationship to deliver something that only Jesus can deliver to you. Jesus makes the many one. How does he do it? He knocks down the wall. When God gave us the, the word for the name of this church that was established in 2013, it was, it was really clear, it's the bridge. And we say, Jesus has built a bridge to unite us to God. And Jesus then builds bridges uniting us to one another. So this wall that separated the outer court from the inner court, Jesus breaks down. How did he do it? When he died on the cross, remember, after he said, it is finished. And he said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. There was this earthquake and then the temple was torn from top to bottom. That curtain that separated the holy of holy place and said, access, guys. Every single person now has access because of my blood and because of my love.